Hey y'all. So, I wanted to make a little video because, you know, it's been this dark, kind of gray, rainy day in Portland. Um, but I'm pretty sure that most of the city is pretty happy about it today. Um, because for the last week and a half, we've been living under a cloud of gold and black and gray smoke from the countless wildfires blanketing the West Coast. I just felt like I needed to say something about all of this. I've had people tell me they want me to say stuff about stuff. It's been a hard week. It's been um, sad and terrifying and uh, there's been a lot of anxiety based around not knowing when it was going to be over, um, when we would be able to breathe again. Uh, walking more than to the end of our block and back um, produced headaches, dizziness, confusion, and now I can breathe outside. The biggest takeaway for me, the thing I've thought about the most and paid the most attention to aside from my own safety and the safety of my little family, has been that the president doesn't care about me. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. There's people that are going to see this that are going to disagree with me, and I open a con I, I welcome a conversation. I want to explain to you why I say that. There have been untold numbers of wildfires raging across the entire West Coast for more than two weeks now. Hundreds of people, if not thousands, have lost their homes and everything important to them in their lives. Entire towns have been wiped off of the face of the earth, burned to the ground, where there is nothing left. And millions of people for the last week and a half have been choked into their own homes by black, brown, orange skies filled with toxic smoke. Fire in every direction. And I know that the president doesn't care because he hasn't talked about it. A long time ago, somebody I really, really respect and love asked me to only take his words and not let the media skew his words, not pay attention to news stories, and that I, if I wanted the truth about what he was doing or saying or thinking, that I only had to listen to him because he was going to tell me what was up. Started paying very close attention. I check his Twitter multi -time, multiple times daily. I watch all of his press conferences, every speech he makes. And over the course of the last week and a half, he hasn't tweeted about the West Coast or the fires or the toxic air that I've been breathing. Not one time. He had to get invited to go to California last week to be briefed on what was happening there because it being headline news across the entire country that the entire coast was burning and being suffocated wasn't enough. He had to have scientists explain it to him, these experts that were literally pleading with him to take what's happening seriously and to take climate change seriously. Um, during that press conference, at one point, somebody was explaining to him that Death Valley had recently set a world record for temperatures. The president looked off to the side and went, hmm, pretty good. You can see it. He says pretty good. He smiles. And then seconds later, 
as this official is begging with his voice and his words for the president to listen to science and pay attention to what the scientific community has been saying for years. The president says the science doesn't really know. At no point has he talked about sending help or aid. I do know that it's happened because our governor talked about it, but he never spoke about it. It's because he doesn't care about me, people like me, or anyone on the West Coast. Because he's decided that it's full of Democrats. And what matters to him more than humanity is Republicans and Democrats and winning an election. In the last week and a half, he has spoken at length about being prepared for hurricanes to hit the southeast. He has spoken at length about antagonists and domestic terrorists. He has spoken at length about himself and what a great job he's done. That's the majority of what he talks about. There was one day on Twitter that in a two-hour period, he tweeted or retweeted over 30 times about the governor of Pennsylvania's lockdown being thrown out by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. And not once about what's happening in my state, in my home. Entire towns have been burned to the ground. We are on the West Coast, which is, in his eyes, full of liberals and anarchists and Democrats. And so he hasn't said shit, and he doesn't care because we're his opponents, we're his enemies. Never mind the fact that outside of Portland, where I live, where we are right now, this is a very, very conservative state. There's a lot of rebel flags out here and a lot of attitudes that I don't necessarily agree with or appreciate. But because Portland is here, we're the enemy. Believe me, there's a part deep inside of me, I consider myself a very patriotic person. I'm proud to be an American. I love this country. I love the opportunities it presents. I love voting. I love democracy. And with that comes this want to believe in our leaders. And I've said this to my more conservative friends and family. I don't want to be mad at the guy. If he gives me something to believe in, I'm in. It doesn't take much. I'm a really naive, wanting to see the best in people kind of guy. But the last week and a half, shows me that I was wasting my time. Because he doesn't care about me. And not because of anything I've done, but because of where I live, and who he thinks I vote for. Because of, I'm, a, I'm a liberal or a Democrat, which I would never call myself. He doesn't care about us. He was gonna let the whole coast burn to the ground.